Welcome to the Bearded Woodworker. I'm going to show you how to make this table saw sled. So there's plenty of videos on the internet to show you how to make a table saw or a, a crosscut sled. I appreciate you stopping by and seeing how I built mine. So what is a crosscut sled? Well, it's kind of in the name. Green, wood drain, you can see runs this way. And when you want to rip something, you cut this way. But to cut across the grain, you use a crosscut sled. Now, typically you would use a radial arm saw or use a chop saw to cut something like this. But if you wanted to make multiple pieces the same size, you use your cross cut sled. You put a block here, you put your clamp on it, and when you cut a piece and remove it, you're always gonna go to the same side right here. So anyhow, let me show you how I built mine. Okay, so I screwed up and I got ahead of myself. What I shouldn't have done was cut the groove in my plywood already. <clears throat> I should have first put the rails on my board and then cut it, but I'm, I'm determined to make this work. So I remember setting the fence at 16 degrees because I wanted it shorter on one side than the other. So I went ahead and put my fence back to the 16 degrees. Oops, I'm going this way. <clears throat> And I'm just going to go ahead, that looks pretty good, I'm going to set the rails at the same time put my saw blade in my groove. So before I do this, my rails are going to sit a little below, which is great because I want to have the space underneath it. So what I'm going to do is take two um, washers stacked on top of each other, I'm going to lay it inside the groove. And what this is going to do is raise my rails up and then it's going to give me space and it's going to allow it to sit flush. So I'll take my rails place them on top of the washers. You can already tell that's a little too tight of a fit there. And I'm going to take some hot glue to temporarily just hold these in place until I get some screws on it. So this will act, you know, like a clamp. good at the front but as it slides in it starts to stick right about here somewhere so I'm not sure what the best way to do so I'm going to take some sandpaper right now I'm going to kind of just sand these edges and see what happens now 
we have our rails in our sled, our piece of wood here. They seem to be sliding real nicely now. We're going to add a back piece because I'm going to cut all the way through this. But first of all, I want to attach this piece to the end like that so it keeps these two pieces together and doesn't combine or, you know, uh, go side to side or anything like that. So I'm going to run this through this saw and get rid of this edge here, make it nice and flat. So now I'm going to attach this back piece. I'm going to run a bead of glue through here. I'm going to tack it in place with a couple of brads, and then I'm going to put some screws through it. sled I'm going to glue two pieces of three quarter inch plywood together I want it to be a little thicker and I don't have anything that thick of solid wood but we'll see if that works I'll set my fence to six inches for the first cut and about three inches on the second cut more about that later <laughs> design I'm going to cut out. I think that'll be a nice placement for the hand. And that's why I did six inches on one side and three inches on the other because I wanted it doubled up. I didn't want to have to cut this out twice. So I'm going to use the table saw to cut on this three inch mark which is the same thickness as the one I just cut up to this line and then I'll use my jigsaw to continue. So the pink insulation works better for this application, but I didn't have any of that. But I do have some of this really thick insulation that they use, uh, you know, put it into walls and the sheds and stuff like that. Well, I doubled it up, looks like I got about three inches worth of foam. And this is really great when you're doing jigsaw work, so you can go right over your surface and it's not going to cut into your table. So I got a blade in my jigsaw, I have my piece I'm cutting on top of my styrofoam. Now let's cut it out. The reason why the pink stuff is better because it doesn't crumble and go everywhere like this stuff does. But this does the trick. Yeah, that feels good. Now I'll sand the edges and glue it together. stay overnight. Now let's take off all these clamps and see what we've got. All right, that looks pretty good. Now let's give it another quick sand and get rid of some of the glue drips. So 
now we want to make a pivoting point. Right here, I'm going to pre-drill, countersink, and put a screw in here. And that way we can pivot this. And I'm going to show you how to make this true. Now we have a pivoting point. Next step is to raise the blade and grab my framing square. I'll take my framing square and I'll go up to the line that I scored in, push it back to this fence. Now I like that. I'm going to pre-drill, put one screw in, and then we'll double check again. So now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run this line all the way through, making this sled part now two different pieces. So now I have my fence temporary on, I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to do the five cut method and see if this works. Uh, I'm using a smaller piece than a lot of other guys I've seen use. This one, um, we'll see. All right. the trick this fallout piece I'll grab my tape measure because I don't have a caliber thing so here's the moment of truth right, if you see that three-quarter inch on the top and a sixteenth of an inch larger on the bottom. Well, you guys can see that. That means it's not square. Try it again. With a slight adjustment of my mallet, I'm going to give it another shot. of an inch. I'm happy with that. Now I'll put in some more screws and get her down. put paste wax on the bottom of your sled and uh, on your cast iron part of your table saw. I don't have any paste wax but I have some turtle wax and we're going to give this a try and see how well it works. Just put a nice amount on it, get on the rails all over, I'll let it dry a little and then we'll buff it up. Take a clean rag and we're going to buff everything up. So here it is. The sled is completed. I'm very happy how it turned out. It's no play in at all. It's got a nice smooth glide to it. 
It's got great handles. It's got an area here to keep my thumbs out of the way so they're not going to get involved with that blade action at all. This is my very first jig I've ever made and it's a big one and I look forward to using this on more projects. So if this is your first time watching my videos, I invite you to hit the subscribe button and get notifications for when I put out new videos. Until then, thanks for watching the Bearded Word Worker. See you guys later.